Hey folks, Cool18 here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Sid Meier's Civilization V as the Inca. And I have to be honest, I'm not 100% sure that victory is assured in any way whatsoever here. France is actually rebuilding relatively nicely. I really have to do something about this happiness thing. I've got some money. There's two ways we can go. I could go and throw some money at city-states, or um, I could go and, like, annex these cities, insta-rush a uh, courthouse, and then uh, we already have a coliseum here. We can build a zoo, though. Uh, Lyon, same thing. We've got a Coliseum. I'm actually concerned about Lyon growing here uh, in two turns and putting us into negative happiness, which would be uh, less than good. But I think what I'd rather do is Samarkand over here. I'm going to give them a bribe. Uh, 500 bucks will be enough to uh, send them over to allied status. And we don't get anything extra from going to 1,000, right? Twice as much, twice as much influence. So there's not a good breakpoint there. So we'll go ahead and do that. It will be a nice positive happiness. So we'll keep that going. And... Uh, Oh, that's right, I'm at war! I forgot about that! <laughs> it's been a few days since I recorded the last one. Although the Sims 4 stuff has really thrown me off the uh, the trail. I forgot that I'm at war with two people simultaneously. Um, which is probably okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to sit here and sort of tank out some damage from Paris, but I should be able to defeat them. And as far as uh, Nebuchadnezzar goes over here, I don't really see how he could really throw much of a threat my way, but we'll have to be on guard, obviously. Other than that, we should be okay. And yeah, actually, getting some more allies is quite nice. Nice, nice that none of these city-states are actually allied with uh, my opponents here. 21 over here. That sounds like a great idea. Let's pop you in over there as well. I guess it means uh, no upgrades. I don't know if I had uh, things that still needed to be upgraded since I forgot that I was actually in a war. But I think we're relatively okay. We're making a good amount of money. Uh, we didn't actually get any more happiness. Um because presumably they had the same goods that we already had. But it's nice to have a little bit of extra backup, not to mention some war buddies that may or may not come into play. Um, well, actually, this is a lot of units here right outside of one of uh, Babylon's cities um, that could conceivably cause some issues. In fact, they were even trying to move some units through Samarkand land. Yeah, and uh, that might actually turn out to be really, really cool. Uh, Cahokia over here is not really going to do anything much, but I'm hoping it also discourages anyone else from dogpiling on me because I'm going to have plenty of friends. Anyway, I don't think there's much else we've got to do on this turn. Working towards dynamite, and oh, that's what I was saving up my money for, so I could upgrade my cannons to artillery as soon as that kicks in. But, uh, I think, I think it's going to work out halfway decently, uh, one way or another here, so... Uh, no, I do not want open borders because I don't want you stealing my archaeological stuffs. Uh, we'll probably do a pillage here, and might even back away. Um, that's nice, it would be best that you leave the protection to us. Oh, sorry, this caused a divide, hopefully we'll still be good friends. We'll cross our fingers about that. Um, great General is covering everyone perfectly fine. One, two, three, uh, great scientist! Oh, great timing, actually. Hmm. Well, here's the thing. How much would I get from popping the scientist? It's probably better to just turn him into an academy. I, I really think that it would be better to do that. Um, I'd actually prefer to do it on grassland as opposed to here, because I like when the academies can sort of keep feeding the city. Um, I could probably put the academy here to get rid of the forest, and then it would be a nice food tile. I, I like it better when it's not on a river, because the rivers tend to give more food, though. Oh, right up here. Is this a hill? Come on, tooltip. It is a hill, so it doesn't really matter too terribly much. Um, that would be okay. This city could work that tile, which would be halfway decent, but uh, this does not have a national college and will not have an observatory. You know, oh, and that later can become a great terrace farm. I think we're just sort of have to bite the bullet and take one of our coastal spots. What is this over here? That is a trading post? No, we'll go and override the trading post. That'll make sense. I don't think I need to rush out the dynamite, although, uh, or steam power. Getting to railroad is going to be really exceptionally nice for us, but we'll just go ahead and do that. Boom, replace this tile. We're going to make sure to, every person, or tile management, make sure to lock that tile in place there. We're still mostly avoiding growth, which is going to be fine, I think. Uh, giving us a little bit of a happiness margin is going to be okay. Leon's going to grow in a turn anyway. Um, and yeah, what I want to do is start firing with the things that we'll not be able to necessarily fire later. Prioritize that. Oh, right, there's a hill there. There's a hill here as well, though, right? Yes, no? Tooltip, come on. Plains. No, it's flat. Mm, that is really inconvenient. Um, and here as well, we can't really shoot anything. So what I'll probably do... 
oh, with the citadel there. Hold on, I don't actually want to enter citadel range. That would be that would be awful. Um, pillage and move back, probably. It's doing the annoying thing where it's got the the, the moving bit. There we go. Cancel that. I don't want to accidentally move a tool or a uh, unit just because the tile stuff is effed up. I, it might actually be worth me dropping a citadel right here. Or in their territory. I would wish I had a second great general, but I don't, so we'll just have to make do with what we've got. Let's do that. We leave this here? No. No, we're gonna have to pull back. But we've got nowhere really to pull back to. That's not true. I could move sideways this way. I can pillage and then pull back to here, which will move me away from the citadel. We'll fortify over here. I will um, move forward as best as I can with my gun. Um, I think what I was going to do is override this with a terrace farm, which seems like an excellent idea, despite that we don't have happiness. I'm pretty sure that was what the plan was. Over here, before we lose this unit, we're going to go and spread the religion in Cahokia. Which I guess, I, that's right, I didn't need to spend money on them because I was about to do that, but still it locks them in that much more, so it's it's not bad. It's not like it's a waste. I guess this cannon is not going to fire. We'll just wait a turn. This Gatling gun is not going to fire either. I'll actually move the Great General back over uh, to here just to cover a few more units that way. And then call that relatively good. Again, I'm not... I, I, I don't know, like, making progress against Paris without losing stuff might be a bit of a pain in the ass, but we're not just going to, like, lose anything. Uh, I'm just going to essentially just automate this guy or chop down some of these trees over here. Actually, it might be worthwhile. Uh, one, two, three. Oh, let's go and improve the sheep. There we go, if that'll make sense. And then we'll move... Uh, what town is this? Buenos Aires? We're not allied with me, but we are friends, so I can walk through them relatively easy. In fact, if I had a tiny bit more gold, it'd be, uh, it's a little too expensive. It'd be really wonderful to flip these over to allied status, but as is, I'll just wander through their territory and that'll be okay. All right, go, go. So this cannon can bombard us a little bit, but decides not to, okay. That's actually fine because we can keep approaching this way. It'll be okay. Um, I'll probably put a rifleman on flat land over here. It does make him a bit more vulnerable, but it'll mostly be protected by the river, so he should be okay. And that will allow me to move more cannons in. Gajra is plotting against me. That is plotting against Nebuchadnezzar. I can't tell Nebuchadnezzar that, which is kind of annoying. Gajra can plot against me. He's really not going to be in range to do anything at all. So... Um, Oh, they have abandoned the Citadel. Now, I won't be able to destroy it this turn, which is a damn shame. Um, if I'm in it, I'm hoping it doesn't do any splash damage. The question is, can they kill me between the city and all their other bombards if I go and stand in the Citadel? I will get the defensive boost, but if I can pillage it, it'll be a great, 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 great thing. Um, I'm going to move in. There we go. Bit risky, but ultimately I think it was okay. Move in here. Have you already fired? No, you have not. Eliminate that. Um, I guess I should do this. There's not a whole lot of damage being applied there. That guy is still stuck, which kind of sucks. Uh, I'm going to try to avoid you know, a little bit of splash from that. Wouldn't be the end of the world, but it wouldn't be great. I'll move up to something like this, and then I'll wait. Montgomery can move up to here. That way he'll cover this ink and rifleman, and hopefully let me tank up a little bit more. We could give him some adjacency bonus. You know what? I think that'll be okay. And uh, does anyone else want my religion? Oh, you actually didn't get it. I mean, I spread, but it wasn't enough to actually flip the city, so... Here's another use to convert the city. Uh, you just fortify where you are. You can actually take a shot, so please do. Did you? There we are. Next turn. Nope, not next turn. You are going to pasture that. 
Now next turn. Excellent. Okay. Looks like we... Oh, no, we did lose the unit. You don't want to renew this. Um... Five? Five it is. I'm apparently becoming less and less likable. <clears throat> so we can kill him in return, but... You know, do we want to? Still be nice to take out the Citadel. Well, we're going to have to take out the Citadel at some point. Oh, yeah, and then we've got that. Um, great musician in Cuzco. So, I've got enough money to do an upgrade here, so I may as well do that. You all just fortify up. Oh, you I have enough money for upgrading as well. May as well do it. Didn't realize they were actually... It's cheap upgrade at 140. That is really, really, really nice. Um... I'll take the shot, that's okay. I'll take this shot, and then, oh, well, let me just do the attack. That's kind of unfortunate. Uh, we'll create a great work. I think that's entirely reasonable. I see no reason to do a tourism mission somewhere. Rain drop prelude. That sounds very nice. Observatory is done, that's always good. Um, I don't think I need to build any military units down here. I don't suppose I could build a zoo or something that'll give me happiness. No. Um, don't think it's worth building these things. Would give me an extra a great general, which is nice, and more experience points. This is my military city. Um, but I think what would be better is getting some factories up. That's a lot of production. So if we can get a few more of those running all over the place, we're going to be pretty good. I'm not, I don't think I'm planning on using the coal for anything else. So that's going to be okay. Did lose that unit. People recognize my musicians, which is great. Next turn. We might lose this guy. Yeah, it's ending the turn there. It gives me the 30 damage right away. And that is not an, uh, an insignificant amount. Great War Bomber. That must be in the south. Indeed. Still, so far, so good. Uh, no, no open borders. Do, 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 do. Oh, these turns take a long time to process. Okay. Um, I definitely want to get this guy out. Two, three. We can actually bombard from here, like that. Which means I can go and get a unit this way. But whether that's a good idea or not is a big question mark. I think I should just pull back from the Citadel. Yeah. I think that's probably better. Um, attacking there probably makes a great deal of sense. We will... Range attack bonus? No, but if we get Barrage 3, it unlocks a lot of cool stuff. So I'm going to do that and pull him back into the city and get him to start resting up. Over here, we will go for some Bombard. And what we probably just want to do is keep damaging his ranged units. And actually, I think I would feel quite happy doing that set up and then uh, finish it off we could potentially even just apply big damage to something else but I think finishing off makes a lot of sense great general stay where you are you're actually safe um, and covering more units no one can squeeze through there so that's okay we've got a trade route going on um, we might do an internal trade route ah no I think it we will keep sending it to Carthage Where's this one go? Right, that one is not totally safe, which is why we're sending it to here. No. This one is safe. Do that. Away from Babylonian stuff. Public schools are done. Um, we might want to squeeze out. Assuming we get to do the, uh, the um, Neuschwanstein Castle... We could start on walls here. Might be a little early for that. Um, a factory here. God, the production is bad. We can't necessarily build factories everywhere, though, so... You know what? Let's squeeze out... Uh, let's actually get out an amphitheater. And we can adopt a new policy, including a tenant, which hopefully we can get... Uh, castles, arsenals, and military bases, or national wonders. We are going to hope to get castles everywhere. Uh, we've got, you know, some national wonders, and it would help. And actually, this probably wouldn't do that much for us yet. Although, we do have arsenals in a few places. 
and we need the happiness, so... I'm gonna go ahead and pick this up with the idea that it'll all sort of work out somehow, somewhere, down the line. Um, we're gonna get you to pillage. And then probably pull back was the idea, so we don't keep, you know, losing units here. We can pull back and officially protect the Great General. That Citadel, though. And he does have a lot of cannons. It's a good thing he doesn't have artillery. Because he's got a lot of range stuff, which can be a big problem. Carthago Nova is now being bombarded by the Great War Bomber. And we're still probably okay. But it is a little scary making. You want one of my extra dies. I don't need that or that. Um, 119 gold. And um, that won't work. Four. Three. Three will work, for sure. I'm getting slightly less than I could... But I'll get more up front, which is going to be quite nice. What I'm going to do here is definitely queue up a um, a castle, I would think. Or do I already have one? I do already have one. Okay, good. Keep working on the... I, I wasn't going to replace the hydro plant. I was just going to queue one up afterwards. Uh, let's get barrage and then volley from the artillery. Very good stuff. And we'll just have you advance as much as possible. Well, the city can so rarely shoot something, we may as well take an opportunity to do so now. Um, this guy can shoot that way. Save the artillery for um, stuff that's somewhat harder to reach. Although I say that, and... Oh, there are still some targets. Okay, good. Um, I think what I'm going to keep doing is taking care of all the, like, the big range stuff, because, you know, um, I can pretty much outmaneuver all the melee stuff with relative ease, so... Um... You're a little, uh, worry-making. You get out of there. Can't quite kill it, but we'll be safe if we do that anyway. Montgomery, stay where you are. Just production. Artillery is done. Well, um, isn't it the military academy that gives happiness? It doesn't show it here. Let's double-check the tenet. Now, I don't know if it's worth building the military academy. Or military base, uh, which is the defensive one, not the XP one. The defensive one. That will do that. Uh, a castle does give happiness. We may as well squeeze one out now. Although, Cusco, maybe we should actually get a factory first. Let's do that. Because we definitely are going to want a factory in our capital. Um, do we want to shoot? We break fortification. Do I want to pull back? Actually, this is going to get destroyed as is, because it can get bombarded and double meleeed, and even this can sort of potentially scooch forward and do that. I will let them take the hill, and I will just pull back with this. Okay, next turn, in the interest of not losing a unit. I do need to build some um, archaeologists as well. They got bombarded again, but with just one bomber, they're never going to get through. We'll see. We will see, we will see, we will see. Taking Paris, uh, they do have one wonder, I believe, that gives like four happiness. They don't have like Notre Dame or anything like that, but uh, overall we're okay. I love the fact that they keep moving forward. Um... I wonder if there's, like, a greater, more efficient way to finish this stuff off. Actually, that's at a bit of a risk. Yeah, we'll start with the units further away. Definitely, I think, want to kill this thing. There we go. I'm just trying to make, like, optimize the damage as much as possible. Um, I think I've got to apply some damage down there because it could melee our siege units and that would be less than great. I'll do that. I'll take the free kill here. I'll apply more blow up damage there. Very nice. And automate this guy again now that he's nice and safe. Arts funding, embargo song high. Those are all fine. A bunch of peace treaties are expiring. Not at war with any city states. It's very nice. I have enough money. How much am I behind? No. Not enough. Not enough to flip them over. If I had a thousand, which will happen at some point, flipping Buenos Aires would be incredibly handy. Um, meanwhile, there's no way for me to piece these guys out, right? They probably have a timer? No. All right. Um, and I do have to keep an eye out in favor he starts to, like, move an, an army down here. But right now we're still safe. Is this artillery standing still? No. Oh, it's, I think it's moving up to here. 
which is where we want it. I don't want, I don't need artillery down to the south. I just need more artillery up top to take the city. Next turn. Um, I'm fine with that. Yeah, technically it helps spread your, your culture. But whatever. Woo, double bombers now. Still not enough by itself to take it, although if they do send a few more bombers and then they can run in there with the knight, that would be a little bit annoying. Um, yes, I'm in favor of this. Also, I should be able to sneak in there and claim the archaeologist. I think it just destroys it. I don't think I steal the archaeologist. I do steal the archaeologist. I could, well, I can't move about. I've got no moves anyway. And as I say, I might want to stay there and protect it. And that terrace never got finished. This one did, though. It's doing all right. Still mostly not um, working things. Although I should go and double check the specialist. More food like that means a lot more specialists running. Uh, I've got volley already. I may as well take barrage, which is quite nice because it's the units on tough stuff. That's the biggest pain in the butt. Should be the only thing we can shoot there. Um, I think this should actually heal up rather than do anything. Um, let's go ahead and do that. Initiate a little bit of damage over there. We'll be fine. This can actually get shot here, but I think we should survive. I guess we'll wait another tick to be fully healed. Montgomery, stay where you are. Artillery. Um, yeah, artillerize that because they can basically shoot us with uh, impunity there. Although it means we're not focusing our shots, which is less than good. Keep killing the range stuff. Um, you fortify in place, you're probably going to get shot by a lot of things. We can shoot an archaeologist, a random one. That's fine. Iron to Holly finished. Oh, research agreement with Ethiopia finished. Well, let's go and reset that. We do have a lot of uh, bonuses to our research agreement stuff. What's he want? He wants five flat gold, iron horses, lots of aluminum. We wouldn't be out of aluminum, but we'll give you a little bit of it. How does that sound? How does this sound? Ah, there we go. That works fine for me. Um, we have friendships, friendships. We're still working on our research agreements over there. That it is really going to help us catch up quite quickly. Um, Carthago Nova should be able to build Neutwinstein very, very quickly. It's a bit threatened, so there's an argument to be made about building it a little bit more inland, like... Uh, Tunaku, and actually it's going to be finished a factory. I don't think it's got a hydro plant yet. It does have a hydro plant and a factory. Oh, we'll just build it here. So that's going to be fine. No, no open borders. Not interested. Do not want. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, we've got that right here. We actually have to uh, replace this. You over here. We lost a unit? Oh, we probably got bombarded. Um... Do we still have extra silk? We do. Sure, that sounds fine. Our uh, riflemen probably got bombarded. Ah, go away! Yeah, and then reclaim that way. Mm. Alright, that may have been a poor move. We should probably send another melee unit down there to protect things. Uh, that is... Would be nice if I could just steal that archaeologist since I did lose the other one. I could buy something. But not really. Um, I can claim it I can steal it with a Gatling gun. I might be able to make it there on time, although it means leaving Carthago Novo open. You know what? Let's just kill it. Okay, over here, we're going to bombard from the city to start off with. We still survived there, although it is a little bit sketchy. So we're going to go and assist that way. You can bombard there, do some free damage. This Gatling gun... Uh, could probably start to move up at this point. Actually, we could pull back with the artillery. I will definitely love to give you volley. If I pull back, I won't be able to attack with it, though, is the one downside. You know what? This Gatling gun can keep healing. Uh, that is pretty heavily damaged, though. I would rather not do an insta-heal. Um, there's a lot of open territory over here. I'm actually going to give it shock. Uh, I say that, though. Okay, and pull back, and then I'm going to have to put a Gatling gun up here to protect these guys. Now, it will help that I can kill that and heavily damage something else, but probably a ranged unit, because these guys might just sit tight and heal. And if anything else, I don't like the fact that they can just hit me with impunity. We can set up and shoot. He cannot reach my workers because of zone of control issues. 
Um, he's safe here, but he'd be even safer in the city, so I will do that. And I think this is a swell place to uh, to end the video, folks. Thank you very much for watching. Um, you know, static lines, but we're doing more damage to them than they're doing to us. Um, assuming they don't get artillery, we should be able to actually move in against them relatively soon. Happiness is halfway decent. It does suck that we did lose uh, two units so far. We lost one up here trying to take that citadel, which was a mistake. And then we lost one down here trying to take that archaeologist. That was maybe a mistake. Uh, but otherwise, the war is uh, is probably going in our favor. We're a little unit light, but I think we'll be able to make the push. We just got to keep trimming down the French units. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye.